Eileen. Thank you, Rowan. Great con conversation going on in the chat box as well. Um, but I, without any further ado, do want to hand over to our guest speaker all the way from the Netherlands, Tom Lightning. He's been on stage for 25 years. Um, <laughs> no, Tom, uh, given more than four and a half thousand performances as a comedian and as a speaker. And um, he, he is a, a real keynote speaker at, with his Welcome to Disruption Land. He also trains speakers to be better speakers. And he's got great presentation uh, skills training. And he has an incredible studio that he's just set up. So I know this is very early on for you in terms of the new studio, Tom, but let's hand over to you. Uh, I'm going to unmute you and we're going to get going. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Can I ask you a question? I would like to record it, but I see that I have to ask the host. So is it, is it okay for everybody that I record my own show? Yeah, and I'm recording it anyway, uh, Tom, so oh. I don't mind also sharing with you afterwards. Okay, if you, if you, if you can do that, if, it's, if, it's in, if that's in good quality, that's in full HD, whatever? Yeah, Cause it's, yeah it's, it is. Okay, cool. It is. So I'm, I'm, I'm ready to start? Yes, over to you. Cool. Cool. Thank you very much. Um, uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, well, actually, for me, it's welcome because it's your as association. Uh, and I'm proud that, that they asked me to give a speech for you. Um, like Ian said, I have a, a brand new studio. And um, so I just wanted to show you my beautiful studio. Uh, I've got uh, three cameras and visuals. And I'm, I, I would love to do my uh, keynote speech, Welcome to Disruption Land. Um, it's a special uh, studio because if I say, for example, Studio Red, um, bam, then it will be red. Studio Blue, it will be blue. So um, for me, this is, I mean, this is the first time that I use it in, in an online keynote speech. So it, maybe it's a little bit rusty here and now, but um, I, just, I just go for it. Um, what I'm going to do, like Ian said, I, um, well, three years ago, I came up with the name Welcome to Disruption Land. And to be quite honest, I mean, that's quite a title right now. Uh, I, I could have called it Welcome to Disruption World uh, because it's a strange place right now. Um, what is um, Welcome to Disruption World? Well, let's make this clear first, because a lot of people, when they hear the word disruption, they say, well, you know, it's a sort of a buzzword. Everybody uses it. I mean, every startup uses I'm disruptive. And if you have a product and you put an extra button on it, well, it's disruptive. And I think they're totally right. So I asked somebody, um, is disruption really a buzzword? And it's a colleague of mine, and he's in the studio next door. So uh, let's, let's have a look if disruption is a buzzword. That was a, that's a shame. I thought it was rolling. It, it's not rolling. That's technique. But I'm sure that he's going to say it's a buzzword. So it is a buzzword. But then again, we should embrace buzz. Because, I mean, if you, have to, if, you have to, if you have to choose, you can go to two parties. And one party is like, well, you know, they've been partying like that for 30 years. And the same people come over there and they have the same music and the same drinks. Or not a party and there's a buzz. I mean, I know where I would go to. I would go to the bus party. So we could also embrace the bus theory that it's maybe a hype, maybe it's, but something is happening. And we, 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 we cannot say there is nothing happening. There is absolutely a lot going on, especially right now. I mean, I made this line up three years ago, but now we have to live in this world, especially for speakers. Um, that's why, and I also reckon this is going to take a while. I mean, uh, I just heard, right, you've got meetings for 10, 15 people. That's cool. And that will happen here in one or two months. But I think the real big business meetings, the real meetings in conference rooms for, for three, 400, 500, 1,200 people, that will really take some time. And therefore, I, well, I quite so invested in my home studio uh, with all the cameras and all the, uh, all the equipment. And it's, it's now a sort of, I have to, have to get used to it but I want to be ready for the future for online keynote speech, for online hosting, webinars, et cetera. So um, let's be honest. Um, a lot of people do still the same. And even if you look at the webinar, and I'm not saying something goes wrong over here, but I mean, if you look random to a lot of webinars, 
it's now just like, okay, well, you have to sit in a kitchen table and put up your laptop and that's it. But still, there is a world to win. I mean, I'm not saying that everybody should have a studio like this, but you could do it in steps and you could do it little a little step, a little step and better, make it better and better. And that's what I actually want to talk about. Because if I, um, if I look to the speaker's world, a lot of people do actually this. They do like nothing is going on, you know? They said, okay, well now we have to webinar. But that's not, not what, I, what, I, what, I, what I, that's not what you should do. I mean, what you should do is look for opportunities and uh, do things that nobody else is doing. That's what I'm thinking. And that's what I call welcome to disruption land. Because when you disrupt yourself, because I'm not talking about disrupt, disruption of companies. I'm not talking about global disruption. I talk about personal disruption. You have to change something, change the things you do over and over and over again. But in, in, in this time we live in now, you have to do something different. So I thought, um, the biggest challenge for a speaker is to speak. But actually, you have to go one step before that because you don't have to think, um, what am I going to say? Because, okay, I, I, I trained some people for speaking and they all said, yeah, I don't know what to say. Well, that's, that's the least problem. The point is you have to look to the audience and you have to ask yourself the question, what do they want to hear? Because if you have, if you have figured out that question, you know what to say. I mean, it, it, it looks pretty simple if I say it like this, but I, I see it going wrong over and over again that somebody comes at a conference or at a webinar and just pushes content into the room or on the internet. And after 10, 15 minutes, everybody think, wow, is this for me? Is this, mm -hmm, uh, no, you know, maybe you know what I mean. Maybe you don't, maybe you will see it later on, but that happens a lot. So that's, um, and I actually also one of the types who say you have to walk the talk. So if I say uh, what I'm going to say is not important, but what do people want to hear? So I asked Ian, who is, who is looking tonight? Who is in the webinar? And well, he said there's a lot of people also new to the um, Speaker Association of South Africa. And um, so I thought, okay, what is, what is interested now? I, I could do a, a training like, you know, a, 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 like I do normally in the last 20 years or something, but now it's, it's the webinars are what going on now. So I thought, you know, for the next 10, 50 minutes, I just do my webinar training. Um, is that okay with you? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, okay, I, I, I love to, I love to, I mean, I don't look much to all the things that I see, um, I love to see some reactions so now and then. Um, so that's what I'm going, going to do. Um, I would say, Oh, wait a minute, bum bum. Welcome to Disruption Land, because I've made this brilliant, also visual press presentation, um, and I have the, the top 10 that I want to present you. So first of all, oh no, first of all, sorry, I'm, that's, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit rusty. Um, I, I missed a complete section why I wanted to do this. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm just gonna take this out of the movie later on, that's for sure, um, because, it starts with creativity. That's, that's one of the most important things that I forget. That's stupid, actually. Um, but it starts with creativity. It starts with doing something different. And I just want to show you a couple of things that I thought, well, when I see it, I, th I thought in a second, wow, that's creative. And well, you saw it already. Uh, I, I was in Berlin, and it was some guy who was selling mud, um, how do you say it? Um, well, you, 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 you can spray mud. So they have these expensive cars of $100,000, but there is no mud, there is no wood, there is no, there's no area where you can ride with your cars for $100,000. So they sell the spray cans with mud. So you're in the middle city of Berlin and you go, <laughs> and it looks like you're a tough guy. And I thought, I think that's a brilliant idea. That's not what am I going to sell, that is thinking what do people need. So that's, that's one of those small things again. Disrupt yourself and don't think what you should do, what do people need? Not only in the speaking industry, general, also in business. Um, another beautiful one is, this is a restaurant in Copenhagen on a boat. 
And um, they had a very small marketing budget because if you, if you have a restaurant and there are already 500 restaurants, how are you gonna be different? And they found a marketing bureau and he said, wait a minute, okay, you're on a boat. And it was one creative guy who said, what kind of restaurant are you? Yeah, we sell pasta, we sell noodles. He said, okay, you know what? We just came up with this. And they made a picture of somebody who was eating noodles. And well, I don't know if they explain it. People making pictures of this, this is going viral. You don't have to have a marketing machine. This is the marketing by itself. Just because you are creative, just because you have one step ahead of what people want to see. And, and you know, this was an Instagram hit. Uh, that's why I saw it. Why, why would I have ever saw a photo of a restaurant in Copenhagen? You know what I mean? So this is not the power of social media. This is the power of being creative. And that's very, very important. Um, another one is a farmer in the Netherlands. And I, I love this story, actually. There's a farmer in the Netherlands, and he has horses. And he wants to build a shelter for the shadow, because in the summer, it can be hot here, and there are animals standing like, you know, in the sun, but he doesn't get a permit. Uh, you know, that's, I think it's all in every country the same. No, it's, it's, it's stricted area, whatever, nature, no buildings, etc. So the first thing you, 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 you come up with, if you don't get a permit, you think, you know what, I'm gonna fight it. I'm gonna find a lawyer, I'm gonna write letters, I'm gonna put money, energy, sleepless nights. And he did it different. He had a creative idea, maybe because his brother-in-law, because he asked the government, uh, is it okay if I have a table in the field, you know, and, and some chairs just to sit there with my horses? I think, yeah, sure, that's, that's okay. No, no shoulder, no, 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 just a table, and that's okay. And then he asked, is there a sort of, sort of law how big this table can be? And they fell a little bit, <laughs> they, they thought, okay, this is gonna be awkward, but he said, no, well, actually, there is no law. I said, okay, well, uh, then my brother-in-law just makes a giant table and a giant chair. And this is actually standing into the field and five, six or seven horses can stand in the shadow, but it's a table, it's no shelter. You know, so that's, that's a completely different angle. A lot of times, especially when you have a lot of experience, um, I, I love the phrase, if you have a lot of experience, you have experience in the past because you have to reinvent yourself. And when you disrupt yourself, you reinvent yourself. So I, I, I would like to challenge you with the next business decision, with the next speaking decision. Uh, can you have a different angle? Can you do something that, that, that you might say, wow, that, that's, a bit, that's a little bit weird. It's like the guy with his hand in the sand. He, it looks weird, but as soon as you see the opportunity, then it's gonna be brilliant. And then you were, you are at a place where nobody is. And that's where sometimes the money is and the exposure is, and that's your unique selling point so people will find you and book you. Um, I had one more, what was it? Oh yeah, this was, um, well, we have a colleague and his name is Bob Howey. And I met him in, where was it? I, I think it was in, 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 in Delhi. Uh, it's a great guy. And he actually wanted to set up the Spain professional speaker association, but because of Corona, uh, we had a virtual meeting. The first meeting was great. Why do I mention him? He, um, there was two days ago, he had a post on his Facebook that he saw a restaurant, and I was gonna show it you, and the restaurant has tiny greenhouses to eat in. And that was allowed, because nobody was allowed to open a restaurant, but these are two, person greenhouses, just a one person, two person, in a, in, a, in a glass box. So that was a brilliant idea. But the point is, this is in Amsterdam. I, this restaurant is four kilometer from my home. And then I thought, wait a minute, there's a guy in Canada who posts this and likes this. And now I'm gonna mention it in a webinar for people in South Africa and India or whatever. So like I said, that's not, the power of social media, that's the power of creativity. Because every restaurant that's got these glass windows and everybody's seen that. They thought that they were angle. What do people want? They want intimacy. What do people want? They want safe, blah, 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 blah. And they came up with the greenhouse. I mean, that's what I call disrupt yourself. Don't take the easy height, dig deeper and come with better answers. That's my phrase always, dig deeper. If you have an answer, 
put it aside, come with another one, till you think, okay, this is pretty unique. This is what I'm going to do. So um, that was my intro for this uh, webinar training, uh, what I'm going to do. Um, like I said, first of all, I'm going to do my top 10 now, uh, also because of the time. Um, the software, the software that you're going to use. Um, I mean, it's very common that people use Zoom. Uh, and, and I mean, in, in the Netherlands and what I see in the States, etc. Sometimes people are a little bit afraid for it because there's some hacks. And, and then I talk with some specialists and I said, well, you know, every software uh, that can be hacks. Every software there is, that can things go wrong. So I don't know, I mean, we're using Zoom right now. It is a sort of, it, it's, it's, it's a brand it, itself. People, even if they, they have different software, they say, well, I'm going to Zoom. Um, so I'm not going into the discussion of which software. The only thing is that if you use it, make sure you know every button, every possibility there is. Uh, for the space bar, for example, is audio on, audio off. I mean, it's a very tiny thing, but if it goes wrong, you, 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 people cannot even hear you. So that what ha that's what happens a lot, you know, especially, I mean, like Ian is doing right now, this is going smooth, you know, group, power, power sessions, coming back, sound, everybody off, me on. That's, that's great. That's, 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 that's a skill. But I'm sure that he didn't open the Zoom this afternoon and, and try to figure it out. So that's my main point, which software you use, figure it out, take some hours, make a test, make a test, bam, 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 and make sure it's a sort, you don't have to think. Because if, you, if, you, if you're talking, if you're in a meeting, if you're listening, it's a whole different system uh, that you have to use to make, it, to make it work. So that's the software thing. Then another thing, uh, where are you going to sit? Um, I mean, it's maybe some of these tips you say, well, pff, I know that, but I have, to, I have to say it because some people still struggle with it. I mean, if you have a house with three walls and a window, look to the window so the light comes into your face. If you look like this, it's, it's going to be a silhouette. And okay, for some people, that's cool if you want that. But if you want people to see your face, uh, look into the light. Um, but then again, I mean, I live in Holland. So that means it's cloudy or most of the time. So that sometimes it's sun and bam, it's a lot of light and white and it's, you know, it's, you're blowing out and then there's a big cloud and it's completely dark. So actually that's not the very best way to do it. The very best way and the, the cheapest way is you get two uh, uh, lights on your desk and put them right into your face. It, it feels a little bit strange, like you know, you're in a sort of, uh, <laughs> sort of, free fight of, 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 of questioning, um, but it, it, it makes it worth for the people who look at you. Because, um, well, I, I gave a training last, and um, how come that you have the sentence, look at me when I'm talking to you, is stronger than listen to me when I'm talking to you? Maybe when you raise kids, maybe, I mean, I don't know if it's global, but I hope so, because I want to make my point. And you want to you want to you want to have a stand for your kids. You said, "Look at me when I'm talking to you." So you know because then you know that that vision, children will never forget. But sound sometimes they forget. So look at me when I'm talking to you is so important, mm -hmm. and that means that you have to look somebody into the face. That you have to have great light. I mean, I have professional lighting, okay, because I I just want to build my studio. But you can do it very, very, very cheap um, with, 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 other, with other stuff. Um, then another thing, look into the camera. That's also, that now, now I made a mistake, but that's because I'm struggling with three cameras. Look into the camera. That's what I had to do. Um, and that's also a mistake what people make when they make selfies. Um, you know, they, they keep the phone like this and, and they look into the, the, into the screen, but the camera is on the end. And they always like, mm -hmm, sort of, you know, it's, it's like off focus kind of selfies. But if you make a selfie, you've got to be spot on and look straight into the, to the camera. There's even a, pro, a professional tip if you have a, a real camera, you don't even look into the lens, but you look five or 10 centimeters behind it. Uh, it, it, it seems strange, but if you do that, that's a pro professional tip. Then, you, then you're so focused because then it's not, then you're not in the front of the camera, then you're in the camera. So even if you get fo fo photos of yourself 
uh, or, or selfies. I mean, try to focus a little bit behind the camera and then bam, and then you're, you're spot on for sure. So always look into the camera uh, when you are attending a webinar. I mean, if you're listening, like I did it a couple of times, my, my cameras are over there, my screen is over here. So if somebody's really talking, I have to, I have to look at you sometimes. But if you, but if I saw how you, how you sit, if, if I saw your face, then I, I did this, not for me. I mean, for me, this is more sufficient. This is more, more I, I'm happy to look at this screen. But I know if somebody talks and then I'm, and I'm just, just, just like this, that's a dull, I mean, it, it doesn't feel right. But if, I, if, if somebody's talking and I, and I do this, that feels great. And that's what we need in a webinar. We don't have the live audience. On the other hand, I love webinars. You know why? If you have 200 people who attend a webinar, they're all in the first row. And as a speaker or as an artist, that's never the case. You only have the first row is empty, then six in the second row, and then, <laughs> and then it fills up. But now I'm sure, and I see it, everybody's in the first row. So that gives me a great feeling. And then another great thing at webinars that normally as a speaker, I'm always wondering, oh man, I, it's got to be a good speech. It's got, it's, 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 it's got to be a good speech. Uh, and, and, and I wonder, what do they take home? But I don't have to wonder about that because everybody is at home. So it doesn't matter what I say, you still get the message, you see? So that's why I love webinars. Okay, um, then this is a tip also, uh, uh, put the laptop a little bit higher because a lot of people sit at the, at, at the desk and they, this, this, like I said, they look from top on their camera and it's not a pretty face. You're not at your most pretty. It's not if you take a beautiful picture and everybody is gonna, gonna do this. I mean, that's, you know, it's, it's not your best face. So if you put it right in front of you, it's not only that you're, that you're a little bit stuck, it, you, it's way more natural. You, you sit straight up, you look straight ahead, and that's a way more uh, better look in a camera. So put your laptop a little bit up. Um, okay, what's the next one? Microphone, the microphone technique. That's a special one. Um, because, you know, I must say that the, the, the normal microphones of iPhones or phones of Samsungs or laptops, they're actually pretty bad. And if you only use it to say, well, I'm present. Yeah, okay, uh, I've got one question. There's no problem. But as soon as you kind of use it professionally or you are a speaker and you want to do a sort of training or a webinar or a thing, please invest in a microphone. And I would say first invest in a microphone than a camera. Uh, I'm, I'm, I hope you know this, but sound is way more important than, uh, than image. Um, I mean, I mean, you can ask any director of film or, or, or professional or, I mean, if you, if you get a, a footage that's off focus or you miss somebody, no problem, you can use that. But if you get sound and it, it like, no way you can use it. So if it's, if it's a cracky sound or it's a lot of noise, what you normally have, um, I hope this sound is okay or, or good because I use a, a brilliant professional microphone on, on the ceiling and uh, you know, that's, that's, I mean, I would say if you're going to do something the coming year professionally, you are a speaker, so I hope you, you are, you are gonna do it, invest in a great microphone. Um, all right, where are we at? Um, interaction, yes, interaction. And I especially made this number five or six because I had a great idea. Um, Ian, are you, are you capable of taking a picture of a screen picture or not? Yes. Uh, well, I have this great idea, and it's sort of interaction. And normally, you ask people. Uh, norm normally, you ask people to move a little bit, and I actually hate that a little bit. But this afternoon, I had a great action. I would love to have the photo that everybody, uh, except for Ian, just stands up and and go out of your camera, so out of the camera field for just a second. And Ian is going to take a picture of all the empty chairs. If you're capable, I don't know if you're capable. And I would love to have that picture. Yes, I had a great webinar with can, only one people still in the screen. I can, no, I Ian, can even Ian, move you can stay the screen. Out only, well. only, also, also possible. So I mean, yeah. everybody just just get out of the camera. Uh, and uh, I, well, I'm, I'm not because I'm I'm really on a hobby show stick, and I'm going to do this this great uh, picture. Um, yeah, you can get a screen picture. 
Uh, Great. Okay, on. everybody can say it again. On. Just hold on. Let me just oh. grab it again. Oh, we grab it again. <laughs> this looks great. <laughs> I love this. Oh, I mean, this this is the feeling of a great webinar. This picture or not? So, and and the on the other end, I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm going to ask in, in in ten or twenty minutes when I finished. How do you feel now? Because you you must feel your energy is a little bit up. Your focus, maybe you're laughing a little bit. It's 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 done in 10, 15 seconds. So I just made it up. Maybe it works, and I, I would love to hear from you if it works, and you do do the same thing because it's just, it's just a, a, a silly th a trick to make people move a little bit, uh, have some fun. I mean, it's, this is, this is I mean, a prescriptor joke, as we as we call it. Um, I was looking at the wrong camera again. Oh man, this is this is gonna be a hustle. Okay, that was the interaction. Um, Dan, uh, if you are the organizer. Um, uh, what I sometimes have is that, you know, the meeting is on Saturday and you get a mail on Thursday. Okay. Wow, man. That's so if you organize a webinar, you know, sometimes it's, it's four or five, six weeks ahead, six weeks ahead or three. I mean, it, it have to feel right, but it's a funnel. It's never one or two mails. It's first a sort of, you know, tickling art oh, or something going to happen, then content, then a guest speaker, then the, are you there? Then the, Blah, 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 you know, so make sure you have a sort of funnel uh, of, 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 of tricks of, of make it exciting, exciting title. Uh, you never heard of blah, blah, blah. You said, oh, I want to know. You know, that's really important. So make sure you uh, make the invitations in the right way. Um, and then this is, this is a, this is a nice one. Um, and that, why do I use this picture? Um, are you going to sit down or are you going to do it standing up? And like you, like you see, I'm, I'm standing and, you know, okay, I've been on stage quite a while, so I, I love to stand when I perform. I could never, what I do now, I could never do that, you know, when I'm in a chair. Um, so it's also the person. I'm not saying this is right or wrong. I'm not saying if you do a webinar, you have to stand. Absolutely not. But if you've never done it, think about it and challenge yourself. Uh, because if you're standing up and you have to ride equipment, uh, maybe only one camera and, and some lightning, you know, it, it can be very, I mean, some flu fluorescentic light, whatever. Um, it, it can be really professional uh, and, and it's different than you just sit down. The only thing is that you have to think about sound. So lightning can be okay. Uh, so I have this brilliant microphone on the ceiling. Um, but if you have a high ceiling or, or there are also transmitters, you know, they cost money, $150, whatever, and you have, you have a good one. So invest in that. And uh, you, you can just walk or you can do anything and people hear always very good quality sound. So um, if you have never stood up, just try it. Even if you are not an energetic, high energy power, whatever, um, because the small gestures can make a difference. If you stand like this and you say anything, you, you know, the strange thing happened to me, bah, 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 bah. That, is, that is theater. That is what you see in the movies. That is what you see in a play or a theater. And um, look at that. I mean, look what people do and learn from that. You know, there's a lot of speakers. I always say, I come from the theater, but a lot of speakers can learn from what people do at, at plays, at, at, at Shakespeare or whatever. I mean, they make gestures, they make sounds, they make eye movements that can tell a story. Eye movements that can tell a story. That's why you have to be in the light and that's why you have to use it as a professional speaker. Also, when you're having a webinar, it is not only sit and, 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 and talk. And especially when you use visuals. Please, when you, it's, it's okay to use visual. I have some visuals, but I show them two seconds and then it's me again because I am doing the story. And I'm really not in favor. I'm not gonna say again, it's good or right. It's what I think that you put on a visual with six sentences and you were in the corner, like, you know, one square millitrilli meter and you six minutes, you kind of talk about the six sentences. For me, that's like, you know, I'm gonna make coffee <laughs> to be quite sure. So uh, that's what I think. So if you use visuals, use them to build up your story, no sentences, but images, 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 and then away with the image and talk to the camera because that's what people want to see. That's what people want to, they want to feel it. 
That's very important. Good. Um, then plan B. Um, how, how am I doing with time? Okay, okay. Uh, plan B. That's, I mean, like you've seen tonight in this session, um, it's technique and I have a lot of technique and things can go wrong. So always prepare. I've got my iPhone here with the, the, the speed dial number of ion. So if something go wrong, I don't even need the internet. I have 4G and I can call Ian uh, in, in, in two, four seconds. And then I can, then you can see how we kind of go on with, with the meeting or I kind of do an, uh, another date. But if you are giving a webinar as a professional and you're kicked out because of technique or whatever, and, and nobody hears from you for the next five or 10 or 20 minutes, then you know it's it's then you have a lost situation so always have a plan b uh maybe you have a kid with a spare laptop or whatever uh give them a book and say i need your laptop for the, for the next two hours and have it ready so that's just um uh, a lifesaver plan b then um to prepare the actually you know if you prepare a speech for a webinar that's for me it's the same if you do a speech real life on stage. Uh, it, 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 it tend to be that, you know, people say, well, I have this webinar, have, oh, it's, oh, it's 7.30, well, I just log in 7.25 and, okay, if you're doing a speech, you just grab some, you know, lines and then you have some PowerPoint maybe. But um, I would like to challenge you again in this area. If you're giving a webinar and you are, you are doing the talking for 10, 15, 20, 35 minutes, um, try to make it excitement. Try to try to tell a story that people say, wow, I want, I want to hear this till the end. Um, I hope that, that happens right now. But I mean, if you don't aim for it, you will not get it. So that's what I'm looking for. You know, so you have you have to try it because in that you have to disrupt yourself uh, by saying to yourself, OK, how can I do it differently? You know, um, because if you if you don't do it, you do it wrong. Ha <laughs> ha. Now I've used it. Good. Um, and I think the last one, the last one is about time. So that's, I have five more minutes to go. So that's exactly what I hoped for. Um, and that's actually the same as you have a speech uh, on stage. I mean, if you have a speech on stage for 30 minutes, it's 30 minutes, not 32 or, or absolutely not 37. So um, be sure to have a plan um, that, that, you, that you can finish on, on time. That's perfect. I'm not going to talk about that too long. So if you do all that, then you are a hero. That's what I think. Um, and we are the new leaders. We are the new speakers of the future. Um, we have to set the new, the, new, the new format. That's why I built the studio. I know it's, it's a little bit too much, but I, I, I receive mails from all over the world, actually, now from Canada, United States, India. Uh, and, and, you know, that people say, what are you doing? How, how did you build this? I mean, everybody can do it in their way. It's, you don't have to do exactly what I did. But think about that maybe the next year you cannot earn a lot of money by sitting behind your desk at a, at a kitchen table. So think about what can you do? You, you could work with green screen. But then again, um, I have some advice at green screen. Green screen is great, but you have to have a really good camera and brilliant lightning. You know, the lightning is, is more important of a green screen than your camera even. And then I would like to challenge you also, um, how can I say this in a nice way? Because if people, people use green screen and I don't, I, I need not even have a look right now because I don't want, uh, but sometimes people use the standard templates of Zoom, like this, this sort of extra kitchenette, outside room, window, view, whatever. So if you do green screen, and please don't, don't use the, we're at the Hawaii beach. <laughs> maybe, maybe some people are doing that, but, uh, but if you want, you have to do it. Again, this is my opinion. This is, it's not about right or wrong. But you can challenge yourself by, by having a strange background, like, you know, like, like a warehouse. Or what I, 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 yesterday I gave somebody the advice, uh, take a picture of your office. And he said that, that was brilliant. He called me last night because everybody's got these strange backgrounds. And they said, Rob, are you, are you at the office? He said, yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm working. I'm working. And then he had a brilliant picture of the office where he normally works. 
and that, that looks professional right away. So, I mean, try to challenge yourself, try to disrupt yourself. If you use green screen, brilliant lightning, please. That's top lighting, that's back lighting, that's front lighting. It's a complete technique to do that the right way. Um, and challenge yourself with the, the, with the background. I mean, it's just, it's just a thought. All right. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a little bit at the end of my uh, speech. What do I want to talk about now? Yes. Um, I have built an, 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 an online course and um, it's a speaker course and it's, uh, it's called speakertraining.online. And for people who speak and understand Dutch, I also have speakertraining.nl, but let's talk about the online. Um, and I'm, I'm, this, I'm going to say it right away. This is not a pitch um, because, okay, I built this course. It's, it's actually brand new. Um, well, I, I, I first first show you. Um, I can show you a little bit. It's this is the 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 course, and it's specially made to watch on your mobile phone. And I'm going to give everybody a voucher. So look here in the main menu. There's a voucher button. Uh, you have to put in your email and make up a password. Put in the voucher you get from Ian later on. And then you are a free member. Normally it's 200 or $100 right now. Then you are a free member for everybody in this webinar um, to have this online course. If you want, of course, otherwise you do nothing with it. It is 96 lessons in seven modules. And then the module number seven is um, on web webinars. But it's, it's seven modules on everything, how, how to prepare, how to build a speech. It's a learning management system. So if you complete a lesson like I do now, you see in the learning management system how much of the uh, module you've seen. And um, it's, it's all, um, uh, the, if you look in your dashboard, you'll log in later, it's green, the lessons that you've seen. So it's very easy to log in, log out, and do all the lessons. The, every lesson, there's 96 movies on it, uh, and text and cartoons. So, I mean, you can look whatever you want, the section you think that's interesting for you. The webinar module is not finished completely. Uh, the text is finished and the movies are, are kind of beyond this week, at the end of this week. So be patient for that, please. So, like I said, um, because we are professional speakers and because we live in a very strange era, and uh, I know also every guy is, is having a hard time, if I may say so, um, that I made a decision that everybody of the PSA, uh, uh, SA, South Africa, is getting a free ticket, a free voucher to uh, use this complete speaker course. Because I think for the next decade, whatever, we need people who motivate other people. We need people who tell stories. We need people who can tell people that there is an opportunity, there is a chance. And um, um, maybe, Maybe this ha helps for a tiny bit. It's not that I want to do make it too big. So please put your email address in the chat and um, Ian is going to collect all the email addresses and you're going to get a personal voucher to have a look. The only thing that I'm asking, and then I'm closing up, 20 seconds. The only thing I'm asking is if you are going to look at it and if you like it, can you please write me a testimonial? on LinkedIn, on Facebook, or personally on, on, uh, or by, by email, which I can use on the website. That's always, you know, testimonials. Uh, I always do it when I'm, I'm on, on tour. I have great testimonials from, from Delhi, Singapore, Paris, everywhere I go. A lot of people, I said, oh, I'm not. That's also, you have to disrupt yourself. I'm gonna give you this tip. If you ever have a speech, get over it, go to the organizer, go to the audience, and say, get your iPhone and say, what do you think of it? Right after you did it. And it, it's a bit strange and it feels a bit like, oh, I said, but then you come home and you have 10 movies of people who say who love you, who love your work. And that is very, very powerful. This maybe that's my last tip. It's not, it's not, I mean, even the biggest artists do it, the biggest speakers do it, and they do it because it works. So get over your pride or your, just ask people what they think of it. And it's, it, it is good to ask people what they think of you, uh, if you get an honest answer. So um, that's it for me. I think that's exactly uh, uh, 32 minutes. That's what I want. I wanted to do. Um, so I finish off and we have another uh, 60, 70, 20 minutes to close off this meeting. I thank you very much. 
for attending this and I would love to hear what you think of my studio. Back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Uh, Tom, we may have uh, a little bit of time for a couple of questions. So um, let's put some reactions though. Let's give some applause uh, to Tom. Well done, Tom. Brilliant stuff. And Thank very, you. very generous. Uh, I was so excited when Tom and I discussed this voucher idea. And, um, and so we're making it available to people who request it on this webinar. So if you put your email address in the chat box, I'll pick it up from the text afterwards and you will get a unique voucher just for you that I will be sending out tomorrow. So uh, that is how we're gonna sign up. So are there any questions? I see Mariette, you have your hand raised. Mariette, uh, open your mic and give us your question. Um, yeah, so um, I, I think um, what I've learned tonight is I love the idea that I can actually stand and speak. And I did invest in microphones and all that stuff. And I was naughty. I didn't set myself up yet. And this thing is probably um, a year old. <laughs> so I'm inspired tonight to actually um, grab my microphones tomorrow, get them going, and actually get a handle on standing and tra training. So I really love the tip I saw tonight. Cool. And I, maybe I've got one more tip. Don't take the most expensive one. Um, I'm, 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 I was bragging about my microphone, but this microphone is actually 35 euros. That's $35. I don't know. I mean, can somebody quickly? That's not, that's, I mean, you also have microphones for $300 and 3000. But if you, you, they have really nice quality. Don't take the, the most, don't take them for $10, you know, five or 10, a little bit up. And then you have a brilliant microphone or a brilliant camera. What I, is there maybe if I, is there a secondhand market in Africa on, on mobile phone that you can buy secondhand stuff or not? There is, but I don't know if you'll get something like that too much. But um, yeah, there are options here. Um, there, there are a few brands that are in that sort of price range. And um, okay. uh, I, I, I've got a snowball. I think that works quite well um, for that kind of work. Okay, cool. Yeah. Good. More questions, Marilise. Let's go to you. Uh, hi, Tom. First of all, thank you for the for the kind offer on your on your uh, workshop. I will definitely take you up on that. Mm -hmm. um, j just a technical question, um, uh, if you don't mind uh, sure. telling me that that screen at the in the corner of your screen that you that you flipped through. Um, yep. Because it's true what you say, you know, if you screen, if you share your screen, then you're this little tiny thing in the corner. And it, so how do, you, how do you do that? Well, this is actually uh, three days old. And uh, this was, um, I had three days ago, I had a speech for the Belgium speaker uh, group. Um, and one of the att attendees, I saw it and he was, he was flipping things in his, I said, wait, what, what, dude, what are you doing? Because I was, you know, I was so focused on new software. And actually this is from Prezi, Prezi, uh, you have keynotes, but this is a paid software. And it was, I, I, I was shocked by the price. But like I said, I invested so much in my studio and I, I saw instantly, uh, I have the idea that if I have this television here, I have this basic uh, uh, picture, and, and I mean, this took me four hours to put up the camera and et cetera. And this is all made on Photoshop with exactly the, the right measure. So it was, it was not easy. I'm, I'm gonna say it honestly. Uh, this gonna cost me three, four hours, but now I know the technique. So any, I know, I know exactly the measurements. So any other meet me meeting I have, I can use the same technique. And I, for me, it, it, feels, it feels lovely. I have 30, 40, 50 pictures, slides, logos, products, sentences, and they all just, you know, go over the screen. Uh, but it is, it's a paid software from Prezi. Prezi Next, it's called. So if you're going to look it up, Prezi Next. Yeah. Good question. Anybody else got a question? Froa, let's go to you and then we'll go to Alan. Hello, Froa. You're, you're for throw us muted. Uh, you're muted. Let me unmute you. For, let me unmute you. There we go, Froa, you're unmuted. Hello, yeah. everybody. Hey, Froa. From the Netherlands also. Yes. I have a, a question. When you, you can see me and you see the twinkle on the glasses, of my, of my glasses, and that's yeah. because the lights. Do you have an 
good advice for people who are wearing glasses? Yeah, well, that's the position of your light. Um, so, so I mean, um, that 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 means that it depends how high your 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 uh, distance, how your your ceiling is. So let, let's say if if the light is like this and your glasses is like this, then now and then it's 90 degrees and it goes directly back. So then it's uh, then it's mirrored. But if you have uh, one light a little bit high, then it's like this. And then if the camera is here, then it's okay. And one light a little bit low, otherwise you have shadows like this and you don't want that. So you, you don't need this light. You don't need this light. But you need a light here and a light here. And then okay, it's from are, two angles. Yes. <laughs> and I, I, I'm not a, yeah. I mean, you ask me that this is my common sense. So I'm, I'm not sure if this is right, but my common sense tells me that if you got a high light, a low light, it's going to reflect the other way and the camera is not kind of bothered by it. Thank you. I see Extin wants to show as well, but if you can look at mine, um, I don't get reflection, but my lights are up at an angle. And if I go up like this, eventually you'll see it over yeah. there. Exactly, but, uh, exactly. But then because then it's all about the angles. Yeah. Because then your, your glasses is exactly 90 degrees to the light and then it reflects. But if you do like this, it's not correct. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Extin, for showing that too. Alan, let's get your question briefly. We are getting a little low on time. It Over is it. a brief, brief question. Tom, where in Holland are you? I've been to various parts of the Netherlands over the years speaking. You look familiar, but I don't think the two of us have actually talked, but I think we know several of the same people. So where are That's you? Um, well, do you want the English <laughs> name or the Dutch? Sure. The Dutch name is uh, Batuvedorp. And in English, that's uh, Bad Hoover Village. Okay, where is the largest city near you? Well, this is, if this is Amsterdam, this is Bad Hoover and this is uh, Schiphol Airport. So uh -huh. I am okay. three minutes where is, where is Schiphol Anc Airport. Where is Ankhusen? Ankhusen, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> well, that's 45 minutes from here. That's uh, okay. at the, uh, I have a the lake sense. area. I I have a sense of where you are. Thank you very okay. much. <laughs> That's the Lake District. Cool. Thank you, Alan. Chris, let's go to you. I just wanted to find out where Tom got that surname. Is it for real? <laughs> yeah, well, it's a Tom Lightning. That's not a joke. That's, I mean, if you look at my LinkedIn, my business cards, uh, everybody outside of Holland knows that I'm Tom Lightning. That's for real. That's a cool name. Thank you. <laughs> that's not the name you were born with, Tom. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's Slichting. That's right. Very good, very good. Any more questions, anybody? Yeah, if I could, if I could ask a, a thing, I'm, I'm interested in your video switcher, Tom. What, yeah. what, what have you used and what, what would you recommend that is easily accessible without having to mortgage my house to, to buy a... Very good, very good question. There is actually, uh, uh, it's called, I, I can call it in the, in the chat or maybe can Ian type it down, Atem Mini, A-T-E-M Mini, and it's from the brand Black Magic. And Black Magic is, is, is a high level brand in video editing. And they have dis they've been disruptive because normally if you buy a black magic uh, switch panel, it's five, six, seven, eight, 10, 20, $50,000. And they thought, you know, there are millions of people out there in this flock block video industry who don't have that money. And um, I'm not sure if I can show you, well, uh, why not? I will just have a look if I can show you. Uh, bum, 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 camera one. It is actually, let's see this small machine here and um it's it's four buttons can i can you see it mm -hmm. this 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 small machine yeah. and this is an amazing piece of technology it's the best investment i made and in um in, in american dollars it's um 350 american dollars so, I mean, it's, it's money, it's, uh, but you know, it's amazing what you can do. You can do four times HDMI uh, also with your iPhone because the, the visuals I use like this, that's coming from my iPhone. 
So it's not even a camera, it's not even a play deck. My phone is now doing these images. That's coming from my phone. And you can do it with an HDMI cable directly in this system. Mm. So this is a brilliant system. You can also put it on a laptop with thousands of other features with green screen, etc. But now I use it for my four camera. Uh, you can do picture in picture. Uh, you, can, you can do uh, these, 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 that it flows. I mean, it's, it's amazing what you can do for this kind of money. To, uh, the only thing is, in Holland, it's totally sold out. It's, 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 it's two, two months waiting time. So if you can buy one in Africa or order one, please do, because they are going to be hot. Tom? Black Magic HM Mini. Tom, just as a matter of interest, I spoke to Black, Black Magic in the UK. Yeah. They have back orders for the next nine months on the Mini. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I had to shelve out twice what you paid for yours to buy the new Pro. Um, it's got a few extra features, but I know. But I know. they've got a limited set, and they've got a that's going to be faster in stock than the Mini itself. Yeah, maybe a tip, uh, but the, the, not for Africa. Maybe yesterday, James Taylor, great speaker, called me and he ordered his A2 Mini in Germany, and he had it yesterday. So, so wow. the, maybe you have to look in every other countries and maybe the 2030 uh, shipment is, I mean, please pay it because this, this machine for the next two, three, four years, if you got two or three cameras and I've got, okay, I've got one beautiful 4K camera, but the other one is just like, a, that's why I ask, is for a secondhand market. Um, this was the best camera 10, 10 years ago. So I thought, you know, I can buy new cameras but those cameras, people don't use them that much. They, you know, five seconds, put them in the, in, in, the, in the closet. So then I thought, I just Google who is having a secondhand camera. And that was the best camera of 10 years ago. And this is a 3CCD HD camera from 3CCD camera. And that is actually this, this footage. And that's a camera for 20 euros. I bought that. 20 euros. That's five beers. So, so don't invest too much think clever, disrupt yourself, and do it differently. And, and there, there are a lot of possibilities. Tom, we have one last question. Sharif, do you want to uh, give us your question quickly? <clears throat> yes, please. Um, <clears throat> so I just wanted to, to really ask you quickly about the, the people who are on TikTok. So... <clears throat> oh, we've lost your sound, Sharif. I, I can't hear it. Is, is that right? Yeah, no, the sound is gone. Sorry, Sharif. If you hear us. I just plugged out as well. Okay. Sharif, just try again. No, we're not hearing you. Uh, we're going to have to call it time. We've got, we are at time now. I just want to say, Tom, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The chat box, um, I'll send you it afterwards because there are lots and lots of feedback. Um, lots of people saying they will do recommendations for you on LinkedIn and anywhere else they can. Um, lots of uh, oh. lovely compliments about your energy and and the, the the fun and the and everything that people are talking about. Plus the really really good information. Lots of inspiring ideas. And again, you know, even if it's just one idea you take away tonight, just like That's it. in my interview, even if it's just one feature that you, you see in the product. Uh, but you take home. Made it well. <laughs> you take it home and you live it. Very good. So, Tom, thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. Uh, it's been great having you and some other Dutch vid visitors. Having Frauer here as well. Thank you very much, Frauer. Good to see you. Um, and, and of course, Extin, our uh, dual member. Charlotte, do you want to add something? Yeah, I just want to say that uh, from my account, there are people from five different countries here tonight, so that's really amazing. Welcome to Nice. Thank you, Charlotte. That's wonderful. Thanks, everybody. Um, we will see you second Tuesday of June, and that will be our next uh, full-on uh, chapter meeting. It's been wonderful having everybody along tonight. Um, and I will be getting to those emails tomorrow and get your vouchers out to you tomorrow. 
So um, I look forward to that. And uh, thank you for your generosity to us, Tom. No problem. Stay, let's stay in contact, stay. LinkedIn, whatever. Let's help each other and uh, challenge each other to make the difference. Nice Thanks round Tom. of applause. Thanks, let's yeah. give lots of reaction applause. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Tom. Cheers, everybody. You're welcome to give us a greeting as you go. Yes. Goodbye, everybody. Have a nice night. Have a nice night.